Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adam here and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the kind of new Canon EOS RP. Now this camera is the ultimate camera for beginners with one drawback. So with that all being said, let's jump right into the video. So first we are presented with a nice, lovely EOS R P box. It has R on the top because it's Canon's R line. Opening the box, we get a US and Canada only thing, image for Canon, which can transfer things, and this very, very thick, thick guide. Also in this bundle, I got a battery and the battery charger, which you can plug right into the wall and charge your battery. So that's pretty convenient. Next up, taking the lid off, we have the neck strap. The neck strap, you know, goes around your neck, attaches to the camera. Grabbing the next package that is wrapped in bubble wrap very securely, which is really good because it is the lens. It's a 24 to 105 millimeter Canon RF mounted lens, and it's very soothing to open and close. Now, finally, the thing we are most excited about is the Canon EOS RP which was really hard to open. I have to add, it took a lot of force. But we finally get to the camera and it is a beauty. For $12.99, so far, first impressions, beautiful. Looks like a pretty good size display and has a lot of buttons. It's a foldable screen, which is really, really cool because I know Sony's don't have that on some cameras. Amazing build quality, super cool, and cannot wait to look into this camera further. So let's do that. So let's talk specs. This Canon EOS RP has a full frame sensor at 26.2 megapixels. Its ISO can go all the way from 100 to 40,000. The aperture goes all the way to f.5 to f22. And the shutter speed can go all the way from 30 seconds to 1 4,000th of a second. Now, ports on this camera. It has a mini XLR port, a microphone port, a headphone port, a mini HDMI port and a USB type C port. Great to see Canon adopting this brand new port. On from ports, let's talk about the button layout. The button layout is very easy to navigate. There's a menu screen, a big bright display that's really easy to see outside, and many other buttons like the info, autofocus, zoom in, look at your gallery, trash. Now on top, you have the on and off button and a dial to choose which shooting or recording mode is best for you in your moment. An aperture control and a shutter control, a recording button, and then the picture taking button. Next up, let's talk image quality. The image quality from this camera is very, very good. In fact, while I was testing out this camera, I actually went down to San Diego because of a wedding and I got some really, really great shots, recordings, and time lapses. So we're gonna break this down into three segments and tell me your thoughts. So first up, let's start with photos. So taking a look at the pictures, these are completely unedited, uncropped, nothing, no color correction added to it. These are just the complete raw pictures I got from the camera itself. So far we've seen a few pictures, one low light. This one is a zoomed in one, which I liked. And as you can see, the detail is pretty much the same overall. You may lose a little bit of detail with large shadows like the sun over the water, that picture. But even at a very, very far distance, like the plane, you still get great shots, great quality all around the board. And it's a very good shooting experience to do. So tell me what you think in the comments about some of these pictures. And yeah. Next, let's look at the videos. So I know these aren't videos from San Diego, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different. I was visiting a friend and they were farming out in the field. So I decided to take a couple videos using my camera of them harvesting the corn. I was just using my 24 to 240 millimeter lens. That's why the zooming may be a little bit rough, but this was 1080p, 60 frames a second. And I was honestly genuinely surprised. I wanted the tracking on the harvester and it did that very well. I didn't want to focus on anything else, but the dust presented an issue. However, it really got to test this camera to see what it was capable of. And as you can see, fully maxed in at 240 and great quality shots. And it was really fun to go outside and watch the tractors just cut the corn. And in this last video right here, you know, great shot. And obviously this does need to be color corrected. However, this wouldn't be a real review if you weren't seeing the real 
raw footage. Also, I will let you hear the audio from the video from the camera. So here's that right now. Now let's look at a special type of video or the time lapse. These time lapses were a little challenging to figure out how to do. However, beautiful things to do. The first one was when I got back at, at night and I just decided to stick it outside my window. The next one was early morning just to see what happened in the marina. Turns out not much happened at all. And then the final one was the sun setting as I was eating dinner. I should have left it on for longer. However, beautiful time lapse, like absolutely beautiful. It's just cool to see, you know, what the world does. Other than that, time lapses, videos, pictures, they're all great. Anyway, let's go to the final thoughts. With image quality out of the way, let's move on to the one con about this camera, and you can see it in my right hand, and that is a lens, and also another lens. What could be so bad about these lenses? Well, they're not bad at all. They're really, really good. It's the fact they cost so much that presents the issue. See, for a beginner or amateur photographer, usually you would start off with like EF glass, which is still really good, but it's much cheaper. Now, the RF glass works really well with the camera. It can adjust aperture control or focus of the actual subject itself. So RF glass, while very good, is very expensive. I was lucky to get this entire bundle for the camera for $12.99. I'll put that in the link down below. However, this separate lens right here, the 24 to 240, is $900. Now granted, I have got some beautiful shots from this lens. However, at the moment in my photography and recording career, it has not paid for itself yet. Hopefully it will, but it has not yet. So that is the major, major, and I'd say one downside of this entire camera is that the lenses are very expensive and you really have to keep them not only protected but safe you just want to make sure that when you're looking at this camera, you have to know that there's going to be costs associated with it, with the lenses. And if cost is not an issue, then easy buy right away. But if cost is on your mind, then possibly look at a different Canon camera. From unboxing to specs to image quality to video quality, is this Canon EOS RP worth the $12.99? And I'd say yes, because... This is an investment in my channel and hopefully my career. And I'm definitely going to be using this for the foreseeable future. The only thing I would do is get a second camera to make my production quality even better. If you're starting your photography career, this camera is a perfect camera to start because it's cheap and the pictures you get are beautiful. And even if you're starting someone videography, it has really easy files to work with. It can only go 4K24, but it crops in. But you're still getting that practice. This is a beginner camera and it shows. It's really easy to use, it's easy to navigate and you can get great pictures if you just take some time and learn how to use it. So, I recommend this camera to anyone starting out photography because you already know the one con and that's the price of the lenses. But other than that, absolutely amazing camera. Best purchase of my entire life. It's a great camera, 10 out of 10. It's perfect. So, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It genuinely took weeks to record because I was off testing this camera. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.